Hey music friends, this is Davi Vasque, I'm a music composer for games and the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo came out recently, everybody is excited about it, so today we're gonna listen to and talk about the theme of the Materia Guardian, which I've been told is very good. Let's go! Oh, wait. There, there are elements in this. Oh, of course. I know this one. Man, what a classic song. This one is so good, man. Yeah. This one was in the remake, right? In the the first part of the Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, at, at the beginning of the song, I, I was thinking to myself, I, I even said it. Uh, this has elements of, I, I was going to say this, uh, I was going to say this has elements of, uh, I think it's Let the Battles Begin, right? That, that was the name of this track in the original Final Fantasy 7. So they, they started hinting at it here at the beginning. I find it interesting that they used this track here for this boss. As far as I understand, this is a, a boss battle, right? They used this for a boss because in the first part of the remake and in the original Final Fantasy 7, this was a regular battle theme. Maybe uh, they're gonna develop it into something else later. Let's see. But yeah, what I want to show is how they hint at it at the at the beginning of this track. So you kind of know it's coming. Yeah, here. Th th this is th th this was the exact point I, I noticed. Uh, this was similar to to let the battles begin. Did you notice this the first time you you've heard this? There's this little phrase on the on the strings on the left speaker. Right? Uh, as soon as this played, uh, uh, I, I noticed the resemblance. And then, of course... Yeah, it proceeds to go into this classic, classic battle theme. Man. This is one of my favorite battle themes of all time. This is such a classic. And do, do, do. this, even at the time when it came out with the original Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it, 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 it of course sounded very much like Final Fantasy, it, it sounded very much like Nobu Ematsu, but at the time this sounded kind of fresh because it broke with some tropes that they had with Final Fantasy VII music up to this point. Uh, if you remember classic Final Fantasy music, they used to do uh, this little bass line uh, intro before almost every battle theme in the series, which was like this, remember? Here they kind of did it. Nobu Ematsu kind of did it, but but he broke away a little bit from the from the rhythm, from the classic rhythm of it. Check this out. So they're still doing the same notes but he changed the, the rhythm a little bit. He used a little bit of syncopation. He intro is introducing some notes on certain beats of the rhythm that you don't really expect. It wouldn't be the, the regular beats that you would expect in the classic Final Fantasy trope. 
right? He adapted it to this. Very cool. Yeah, and since we're speaking of bass lines, The bass lines in this song are so good. There's nothing special about it, that, but it, it feels so soulful. There's so much character and soul into it. This is new! Okay, so they're developing it. Oh, so cool! So. This is amazing! They're modulating so much! Oh! They raised the key! Amazing! Hold up! Hold up. Man, th so th this is so cool, this is so amazing. They are doing something similar to what they did on Remake with the track. Oh, what was the name of it? It was the Airbuster theme. They they took the, the, the original track, which in the original Final Fantasy VII was called Those Who Fight Further, remember? And they, they took that track and developed it into a, like a hyper version of it. Seems like this is exactly what they're doing here. They uh, transitioned into this new part here. There's a ton of harmonic shenanigans that they're doing here to hype us up. They are modulating, change, changing key all the time. And at one point here, I noticed a very cool effect that they return to the original phrase, right? Remember this one that I showed you earlier? But with the higher key, they they raised the key, they made everything a little bit more high-pitched, which increases the stakes, it increases the tension, it makes it more hype. Check this out. And by the way, I was going to, so, to show you something different entirely, but I just noticed while, while I was going through the track again, this is Sephiroth. <laughs> Do you recognize it? Remember, One Winged Angel, remember. Man, I can't, I can't believe I didn't catch that the first time around. And uh, this makes sense, right? Because uh, I haven't played this yet, but I've seen images of it. And apparently Sephiroth is there with you, fighting alongside you. What, what's that about anyway? I, I haven't even finished the the first part of the remake. But anyway, yeah, they're referencing One Winged Angel. And then... Yeah, this. Can you feel... This, this is what I originally wanted to show you. Can you feel a point here where there's an injection of of energy and excitement? Right here. Uh, you feel like that because of what I told you. They they raise the key. They are repeating the intro from the beginning of the song, but at a slightly higher key. So originally, what they were doing was this. Remember? Now they are doing the same thing but higher. So it's like this. So it sounds more hype, sounds more tense.
I feel like I recognize this. Oh, and this is Sephiroth. There was a melody there, I feel like. Oh, it's faster now. This is a higher tempo. Oh, they changed time signature. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And they raised the key even more. Oh, amazing. Man, this is so hyper. There's so much energy in this. They keep changing it all the time. It feels like there's never a moment of rest. They really know how to hype up a fight in these remakes. But I want to come back to a melody here that felt to me like they were referencing something, but I, I can't quite put my finger on it. This feels like... Uh, and this as well. It, this is such a special moment. It, it, the, the melody feels so expository. It feels like they are... Showing it to us like we should recognize it. But maybe it's nothing. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's it. Check this out. Remember this? This is from those who fight further. It's interesting that in the video I did on the Airbuster theme, they they I, I got got I got got by the same melody. They played this very exact same melody on a more lyrical, emotional section, just like this. And I couldn't for a second I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. This is the, the Airbuster theme. Right? Very cool, very cool reference. Yeah, and this part, it changes completely. This must be... A final phase, right? In the boss fight. And I mentioned before the three beat measure. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This injects more movement. More drive into the song. It keeps getting faster. Where's this going? It's gonna explode! They're building anticipation! Sephiroth! It's Sephiroth! Positive. Such a positive and uh, gentle ending. What the hell? Hey, if you like hearing and talking about the music from the Final Fantasy games that you love, I have over here 
a video on the Airbuster theme from Final Fantasy VII Remake and over here I have a playlist with videos on all sorts of music from the Final Fantasy series. So check these out and remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.